the City of Los Angeles Department of Water and Power, LADWP, constructs an underground transmission line in several phases. After surveying the project site and marking existing underground structures, a traffic control plan is put into place. Safety for commuters and workers and maintaining traffic flow are high priorities for LADWP, so traffic cones are used to guide motorists through the construction zone. Typically, a minimum of two lanes, one in each direction, will remain open to traffic. Construction crews saw cut the existing roadway and break up the pavement. A backhoe will dig trenches for the transmission line. Approximately 40 feet of trench is dug per day. The trench is shored up to meet safety requirements of California's Occupational Safety and Health Administration and to ensure the stability of the trench. Crews will place the transmission line conduits into the trench and reinforcement bars will help hold the conduits in place. Concrete is then poured into the trench to encase the conduit bank. In a couple of hours, a slurry mix is poured on top. The trenches are covered with steel plates that protect the site and allow traffic to continue to flow. The steel plates are removed and the trench is repaved in sections. Underground transmission line projects must cross intersections during construction. Traffic control plans are customized for each section and intersection of the alignment to maintain traffic flow during construction. The installation of maintenance vaults is required for underground transmission lines. These vaults provide access for inspections and repairs. Traffic cones are used to protect the site and guide motorists through the area. Typically, construction of one vault requires two lanes of traffic and takes about three days to complete. Crews saw cut the pavement and break it up before using a backhoe to excavate a hole that's about 32 feet long, 12 feet wide, and 14 feet deep. Shoring and crossbeams are inserted in the hole to prevent cave-ins and support the vault. Precast sections of the vault are then lowered into the hole by a crane. When the vault is fully assembled, the shoring is removed and the area surrounding the vault is filled with a slurry backfill. Each vault has two access openings that are sealed with a cast iron manhole cover. Crews are now ready to pull the transmission line into place. This requires the closure of one lane of traffic, so cones are used once again to guide motorists through the construction area. The transmission line is pulled into place in segments between maintenance vaults. A cable reel truck is parked near a manhole at one end of the line, and a winch truck is parked at the other. A second winch is placed near the reel truck and is used to hook onto what is called a pull tape. A pull tape is placed inside each conduit before they are lowered into the trench. The pull tape is used to pull a steel line through each conduit. Once a steel line is pulled through, it is connected to a cable which is then pulled back through the conduit by the winch truck. This results in the final placement of the transmission line cable. When all the cables are in place, they are spliced together in the maintenance vaults and the lines are tested. At this point, construction is complete and all equipment leaves the site. The final step in the process is energizing the new line so it can begin to provide electricity to LADWP customers.